Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 6, Lesson 2, The Earth and the Sun. Our purpose for listening today is to distinguish between the Earth's atmosphere and outer space. We want to be able to identify what causes day and night. Listen carefully to understand the word rotates. Can you say rotates? This is where we are. Our solar system is the Milky Way galaxy. In that solar system is the planet Earth, where we live. Planet Earth has lots of continents. One of them is North America. We live on the continent of North America. The country we live on is the United States of America. In the United States of America, there are lots of different states. We live in the state of Pennsylvania. Our city is Erie. What do we call a scientist who studies astronomy or space? We call them an astronomer. Let's think. What is the first layer of sky? The bubble of air that surrounds the earth. That's the atmosphere. Keep thinking. Think of some objects in space we talked about in the previous lesson. The sun, the moon, and the twinkling stars. What is far away from Earth, made of gas, and gives us heat, light, and energy? That's right, it's the sun. Listen carefully today to find out how the Earth's rotation causes day and night. All plants, animals, and people rely on the sun for life. The sun's energy gives life to plants, which in turn provides food for animals and people. The sun's heat keeps the surface of the earth warm enough for plants and animals to survive. For people on earth, it makes sense to say that the sun rises in the morning. Each morning at dawn, the sun appears on the horizon in the eastern sky. The horizon is the line in the distance where it appears that the land meets the sky. At dawn, some people say, look, the sun is coming up. The first appearance of the sun above the eastern horizon is called sunrise. Over the course of the day, the sun appears to move across the sky, gradually following its path from east to west. In the evening, the sun sets in the west ever so slowly. It gets lower in the sky and disappears below the horizon. That's when people say the sun is going down. This disappearance of the sun below the western horizon is called sunset. So based on what we can see from where we live on earth, it seems sensible to say that the sun moves across the sky each day, rising or moving up in the east and setting or sinking down in the west. But that's not actually true. It is the daily rotation or spin of the earth that makes the sun appear to rise and set each day. Earth rotates or spins on its axis. Imagine the Earth's axis as an imaginary pole sticking through the center of the planet from north to south. It takes 24 hours or one day for the Earth to spin or rotate all the way around one time. This daily rotation explains why there is always night and day on Earth. As it spins, certain parts of Earth's surface face the sun, receiving its heat and light. 
when it is light on one side of the earth, it is dark on the other side. So if it is daytime where you are right now, then on the other side of the earth, it is nighttime and the children there are sound asleep. And when you are nestled in your bed tonight, children on the other side of the planet will be waking up to a bright new day. This spinning or rotation of the earth, however, is not the only way earth moves in space. Because earth is a planet, it also moves or revolves around the sun. The word planet means a large object in space that revolves around a star for light. Earth moves or revolves around the sun following a constant path. The path Earth follows around the sun is called the Earth's orbit. Earth follows the same path as it revolves around or orbits the sun. It takes about 365 days or one year for Earth to make one complete orbit or revolution around the sun. But how and why does Earth orbit the sun? The answer to this question involves one of the most important lessons you can learn in the study of astronomy. In space, there are large objects like the sun and there are smaller objects like the Earth and Moon. All objects in space actually pull on all other objects, but larger objects pull harder than smaller objects. The force that causes objects to pull on each other is called gravity. As this pulling action happens, the force of the sun's gravity holds Earth in its place. Although Earth continues to follow its orbit around the sun, the Earth does not wander off into space. The sun's gravity holds the Earth in place. Just as the sun pulls on the Earth and other objects out in space, the Earth pulls on objects on or near its surface. Because of this, your feet stay planted firmly on the ground. And if you jump up, you come back down. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls back down too. This force of gravity holds things on the ground and holds the planet Earth in orbit around the sun. You cannot tell that the Earth is always moving as you sit in your classroom. It rotates or spins all day and every day as it travels in its year-long course around the sun. These two types of movement, the rotation and the orbit of the Earth, create the days and years that we keep track of on a calendar. Let's think about what we learned. How is an orbit different from a rotation? How is an orbit different from a rotation? Try these sentence starters. I think an orbit is, or I heard that rotation is. Let's share what you learned. See you back here next time.